Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Plangelier, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the AMX M451, the Tier 9 French heavy tank. Uh, so I'm going to have some gameplay for you, and we're just going to go all over it. I know it's been went over before, um, and it's not a new tank, but it's my new favorite tank. So I wanted to do a review and uh, show you guys what it's capable of. So let's get into the stats here. So the weaponry, this is with the 127 millimeter gun, as you can see here. So this is actually a gun I don't use. I use the 120, but we'll get to that. Um, so the weaponry here has 2200 base DPM, uh, 470 alpha, 242 penetration, 12.75 uh, reload time, uh, 4.7 rounds a minute, and 2.2 uh, aim time. It's not that's not bad, especially for a heavy tank. Um, and a .35 dispersion, which isn't the most accurate, but it's still not too bad. Uh, if we get down to the ammo capacity, it has, uh, we can carry 30 rounds for a potential damage of 14,000, uh, which you'll see with the 120 millimeter that increases. Uh, so let's get into mobility. Obviously, I have all the upgraded um, uh, uh, modules here so the turret engine tracks and, and radio uh, I'm not putting any equipment on here so you're just gonna see all the base stats so uh, so top speed is 40 kilometers an hour with a reverse speed of 15 so that's not bad at all but um, as you'll see here with the horsepower at 1100 and a 15 power to rate ratio it doesn't accelerate too fast so uh, you, you gotta be mindful of that um, so terrain resistance and uh, effective traverse speeds are they're okay it's not the it's it's nothing it's you know it's a heavy tank so it's not going to move too well on uh, hard medium and soft terrain i mean it it still moves decent but it's still pretty slow so uh gun elevation is 15 degrees uh, gun depression is 8 degrees which is great for this tank especially with its turret armor and the way that it's uh it's just entire frontal armor is composed so um, all right so let's get into the armor itself so the whole armor is 180 on the front 60 on the sides and 40 on the rear uh, the turret armor is 300 on the front 80 on the side and 40 on the rear so you don't want to get shot in the ass <laughs> because you're not going to bounce anything whether it be the turret or the hole uh, the sides are also very vulnerable so the way you have to play this thing is very unique uh, but it's also very cool. It just feels like a heavy tank. It's you can just stick your front out and bounce shots. It's it's amazing. Um, so 1900 health, that's pretty great. You got a lot of hit points to work with. Uh, now, <laughs> the sad thing here is the view range is only 380. Um, so right now on mine, I run. Uh, let's see. Let's just add this in. Let's do coded optics because I run coded optics. So that boosts it up to 418. That's without crew skills and stuff which is still not great but it's way better than 380 so uh, I run coded optics I also run uh, a, a gun rammer so as you can see that increases all this stuff Th this is still the 127 mill millimeter gun and I also right now because my crew is not the greatest I run enhanced gun lane drive as opposed to improved vents so alright now let's, uh, let's discuss the 120 so you can see how everything changed, right? So the DPM went up by two, almost 300. Uh, but the alpha damage is a little bit lower with only 400. Uh, penetration is higher with 257 base. Reload time is better with 9.6. Second reload, uh, rate of fire is a lot better. Uh, you get about two more rounds a minute, which is great. Uh, aim time is a lot better with 1.75 and dispersion is a little bit better with 0.33 as opposed to 0.35 so um, yeah everyone for the most part prefers 120 millimeter because of the higher penetration uh, and it also gets the rounds so the 120 gets APCR whereas and by the way the APCR hits for it, where its pin is 315 millimeters uh, whereas 127 you just have two types of AP and as you can see that penetration is only 270 which is only I think five okay so that's barely better than the base penetration of the uh, standard on the 120 
So you have to trade penetration for alpha if you want to use the 127 millimeter. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the 3D model. All right. So if you look at the tank head on right here, uh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a, that's amazing. So 265 ish for the lower plate there. Effective armor. So you're gonna have to have you know quite a, a high pin gun to pin that. Uh, right here, this little middle plate is your best bet if you're looking head on with uh, 245 millimeters. Uh, the upper plate is also okay, but uh, I've seen a lot more bounces off that than even uh, this lower plate. So uh, now looking at the looking at the turret head on, obviously you can pin the two cupolas. But don't, uh, you can't shoot it right here like you could a Tiger II. Because it's, yeah, as you can see here, it just says it's going to ricochet. So, but right here in the cupolas, you can pin it. And I don't even try to shoot the face of the turret, it's not going to work. Now, from the front, do not try to shoot these sides. You're not going to pin them. However, if he's side onto you like this, bam, look at that. That's an easy pin. Now, granted, that's with the same 120 millimeter that the tank carries itself. Um, yeah, so those sides are easy to pin. Uh, however, the way that you're going to want to play, play this tank is you're going to want to put your front out at an angle to where people want to shoot right in here. Because you want people to shoot your lower plate. Or, you know, up in here. Obviously, as you can see, if they do put their front out, you're going to want to shoot the bottom plate. You don't want to shoot anywhere up here because that's going to be a bounce. So... Uh, but yeah, you want to poke your tank out just slightly, expose this lower hole, or expose your hole in general. Just don't uh, poke your tracks out because obviously then they can shoot directly to your side, and that's going to pin. So, all right, now we we're talking about the uh, gun depression of eight degrees, right? So if you're looking at this thing and it's coming over a hill like this, let's see. Get it back to the front here and let's bring it down. Up eight degrees. Okay. Cool. All right. So we can look down and shoot at you right there. And then all you're gonna have to see is this. And you're not gonna pin it. So the eight degrees of gun depression really gives this tank an advantage. Uh, even fighting on hills because as you can see that's just not that's it's just not feasible to penetrate that so now as you'll see in the gameplay that I'm about to show I go up against a Patton and uh, we're both trying to work this hill and as you can see uh, I decided you, you'll see you'll see I decided to shoot his turret and so I decided to look at how much turret armor he has on the front and it's only 215 now as you remember the base penetration on my on the 120 is 257, so <laughs> you're gonna see that go right through them. So, yeah, even against uh, things like these American uh, medium tanks, you, you can just you can outclass them on hills and stuff because you have the penetration to go through them, and they don't have the penetration to go through you. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the battle here. So I got it kicked up. Uh, we're on El Halouf and the AMX. So as you see, it's a tier 10 battle, three artillery. So I'm gonna go play on the C2. Uh, I really want to showcase what this thing can do with its gun depression, with the armor, fighting on ridge lines and hills and stuff like that. So in this video, you'll see that. I know I talked about the, the uh, patent that you guys are gonna see. Yeah, that, that'll happen too. So yep, here we go. And you see my platoon mate is in at 430. He's going to go to the same spot I am. It's just going to take me a little bit longer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I do love this thing though. It, like I said, it's not as fast as some. Heavies, you know, uh, 
but still 40 kilometers an hour is not bad, especially for heavy tanks. Yeah. It's really nice. And the gun is great, the armor is great, and everything is fantastic. So they tried trading some shots up here and nobody hit each other. Either I took a hit, I bounced one, and also I, I delivered the shot. So. Okay, again, I'll take another hit. So here you can see I'm, I'm surprised that I took shots. See? <laughs> I looked down at my hole and I can't believe it hit me. But it, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, Tank to do can have really good penetration. There you go, so I shot down into the upper plate of the other hand man. Trying to take advantage of me looking at other people so he gets a good shot at you. To the side of the so I know he's going to be a problem because the path has an amazing hit. Yeah, so yeah, he's just rocking back and forth. So here's the. Uh, trying to bait me into shots and trying to stick shots in on me. I go up to try to get a side shot. He's already good. I somehow bounce, you can see on the side of my turret, I bounce that PvP shot. Which is. Missing the cupola. I don't know if that's what he was aiming for. Uh, they keep missing, so he just keeps bouncing. See, just like that. He tried shooting me in the side of the turret, but it's still in the front. And that's a no go. I'll go okay. So I get tunnel vision here, and, and the patent does put another one into me. I was trying to sneak that shot in on the TPP. So at this point, I'm, I'm just tired of the patent just trying to shoot me in the side. So I just decided to start throwing shots in the space. Uh, at the time, I was thinking that the patent's turret armor in the front was a lot thicker than it is, so I wasn't really expecting the shots to go through. Uh, I was just kind of swinging. There we go. Just right through his, right above his gun, on his turret battle. It seemed easy, and he bounces another one off me. So my teammate dodged that 4005 for chill. So he got lucky there, so he's still up. So I'm gonna try to take a shot on this guy. So now I'm telling my teammate that you know be mindful of the walking check because he's behind you. As soon as I say that, he gets super angry. And yeah, so he's very I missed that shot. Already hits my teammate, he's almost dead. Track this guy. And he doesn't track him. And it doesn't track him. <laughs> so my teammate's dead. Now look at this accuracy. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good accuracy. 0.33 right there. Alright. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. A lot of sitting around. Alright, so the gorilla ended up finishing off the 4005. So now all they have is the Tron, the T30, and the 2R. So, uh, 
so I decided since Swiss Farm is over there and the T30 is over there that I should be able to move up through here um, without any issues. So there's a the T30, he's still sitting on that side, he, but he did just go in a bad check, so that's not good. Now you notice we have a Yag Tiger sitting in face this whole time, and this, you know, he could have gained up the help, but it's whatever. Uh, so here we go. Here I am again, I'm going to try to use the ridge here. I'm going to try to use that to stay hold down. As you can see, the gorilla is engaged with the Swiss Farm. He hit one, Swiss Farm misses, Swiss Farm misses again. So I was like, okay, well maybe we have poker, maybe the gorilla can kill him, and then there's the Yardy. The Yardy got very, very bold. I'm going to shut him down here. Alright, so now I'm stuck between two tanks and they haven't already left. Now I'm thinking the Artie's back in A0, so I want to keep backing down this hill because he can go hard build. So I'm once again just trying to use this, this ridge. Uh, the Swiss Farm's penetration is insane, so I wouldn't have a chance of even bouncing shots with my whole armor against that thing. But my turret does have a chance. That's all I'm going for. There he is. He misses. He's backing up. I'm backing up because I don't want the Arden to hit me. And yeah. That was HE. <laughs> that was HE. The 155. And it just splashed me in the face and killed me. And that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> but uh, I hope this kind of demonstrates how well this thing can work on ridges. Uh, and just how much damage this thing can put out if if you if you if you're playing it right. I made some mistakes there, tunnel visioning and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, what well, an amazing tank. The the, the armor is amazing. Uh, the gun is really good. The speed's not bad. So I would highly recommend it. All right. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what else you guys might want to see. Uh, also check out the stream at uh, Planjulier on Twitch. And thank you all for tuning in. See you.